Hi guys, DevilDrexYZ, and we are continuing Final Fantasy VII, and of course, as usual, I took some time outside of the recording to do some level lim limit level grinding, and uh, well, <laughs> and of course, you notice I got more saves here. The reason for that is, uh, well, uh, first of all, I, I got everyone's limit level to four, well, with the exception to Vincent, which I still need to find, but yeah, everyone is a limit level four. And I uh, spent a lot of time also with Cloud trying to get his limit break, <laughs> you know, the uh, the Omni Slash, having to go to Gold Saucer, and I went through about, I went through the battle square, going to that battle, that, you know, battle arena thing, I must have done at least like six times, <laughs> a little bit on luck, unfortunately, you know, not, not every time was easy, but yeah, eventually got it, and then of course, I went out of my way to actually get my hands on a gold chocobo, believe it or not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I actually found a step-by-step -step guide uh, showing me how to get a gold chocobo without having to do any races. And I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, last time I did, last time I got a gold chocobo, I actually ended up having to, I actually ended up having to uh, race my way through, I uh, do like a bunch of races, you know, which took up a, roughly about seven or eight hours of my time. You know, having to do the breeding chain and do constant races to improve stats, but uh, there was like a step-by-step -step guide, which pretty much, I, I guess, it followed. I like to say it pretty much followed um, a lot of variables within the game or something like that, because it was a hundred percent accurate in how it worked, which I'm kind of surprised. So in the end, I managed to get my gold chocobo in roughly an hour, which you know what. I'll go with this. Anything to save me time. Because I, I needed to get the gold chocobo anyway. And of course, I haven't uh, I haven't gone through any of the uh, out of the way places yet with the gold chocobo. I'm going to actually save that until later in the game. Or maybe most likely disc 3, probably. But uh, for right now, yeah. I'm just going to continue on going to the underwater reactor that's in Junon because that's the next huge material location. You know, I kind of love how the guard just let me in here pretty easily, just by paying him 10 gil. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not much, but yeah, I guess he would do anything for money. Okay, well. Well, at least the music's different, it's not playing that Rufus anthem theme, whatever. <laughs> okay, well. I just gotta make it to the other side of this place. We'd be faster with a gold chocobo, I'm just saying. I may be mistaken, but doesn't it feel like we're missing something? Yeah, I'll say they're missing something. The giant cannon is gone. <laughs> Seriously, how do you miss that? It's not like something you can hide easily. It's like it's a cannon that's at least 300 feet tall or something like that. That is pretty strange. <laughs> well, I mean, the reason why the cannon is gone is, well, plot convenience later. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like something you can easily move. It's not like a TV that you're moving out of your house. It's a giant cannon. <laughs> All right, let's see how hard you trained. Attention, charge. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, that's the underwater reactor. Come back. Well, I love how characters give us unintentional information. Yeah, well, you know, technically we could have gone, well, at least down this hallway in disc one. We couldn't get into the elevator because of random construction work <laughs> or saying that the elevator was out of order or something like that. <laughs> How about whoever stays alive gets to take her out? Alright, you're on. But what if both of us... Whoa, don't even talk like... Don't even talk about that. <laughs> no, talk about what? That you both might be killed in the line of duty? Or that both of you won't have a chance to take out the girl? <laughs> I'm just saying. Whatever question whatever question they were going to ask, I guess it's not good. <laughs> in either case... Ooh, 
God, I'm severely overpowered to Cloud. I mean, you can't really blame me. It's not like I can stop earning experience. Well, I guess technically you can't. You actually can if you just kill yourself intentionally. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen people who do that. Oh, look, I got a Shimmer Beta. Huh. That means there's got to be an Alpha. Yeah, so, I mean, I... As I was saying, I have seen people who kill themselves intentionally to try to get to the final battle as low lowest level as possible. You know, uh, great. Hey, there went the door in two perfectly good men. Really? But you can't even see their face. How do you know they're good looking? Okay, back to work, back to work. Yawn, I'm sleepy. For Junon. <laughs> He's sleepy, huh? I guess he feels asleep. Oh yeah, I also got Cloud's Ice and Lightning Materia Mastered. And I got the Comet Materia, which I equipped to Tifa now. Uh, I got the Comet Materia now to Comet 2. Another Shimmer Beta, huh. And, wow, I just got out of battle, huh. And I had the Ultima material, that's right, the Ultima material, I equipped it to Barret, uh, finally got it active. Took some time, but got it active. Yeah, in case you're wondering, the Ultima is a pretty much a all-out magic attack that does massive damage. Although it really eats up a lot of the MP, though. Like, I think it was 130 points. <laughs> Metro magic? Huh. I couldn't steal anything. What a shame. You know what? If only I had the snatch glove or steel glove, whatever it was called. It was like an item that you can buy out in the stores in the the Walmart yet back in Midgar. But I mean it it was extremely expensive. I think it was like over I think it was over two hundred thousand gil or something like that. Or close to two hundred and fifty. But it kind of seems like it's really overpriced for just a small increase in stealing items. Actually, I think there should have been like a material that allows you to just automatic to uh, yeah automatically steal items or like successfully steal items. That's what they should have. Uh. I think this is the underwater reactor, yeah. So, underwater reactor. Alright, I never got to check. Uh, got beta, right? Let's see. Uh, huh. Doesn't really seem too great. I don't have any defense percentage, and then my actual defense is just lowered. So, yeah, it's not really that great. I like how the fish and the dolphins are animated pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're on the sea floor. Oh my god, it's a pirate ship. Or a ghost ship, either one. <laughs> Can I steal anything? Weak against holy power, huh? Can't seem to steal anything now, can I? Come on, steal. Hey, good thing that worked. <laughs> yeah, I like combining the death blow with the MP absorb. Works pretty well. I mean, I guess you can. I guess I could equip the MP absorb to a, a magic based material, and I guess in essence, I'm using less because it will, I will absorb some MP when using it. I guess you can work that way as well. But I, I typically like using the, uh, the support material, 
Mostly with the command base material. Well, I guess we're going. I guess we're going up. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, back up to the submarine deck. <laughs> and here's the silver sub. Of course, battle time. This kind of reminds me of the same enemies from back in the very start of this game. Harrier Beam. Senior Grunt, and then Gun Carrier. Let's steal something from them. I don't know, I'm almost trying to see if I can steal anything good from him. Nothing to steal. Normal shell. Go on, steal something. Nothing to steal, okay. Oh, of course. Darkness. I hate getting hit with darkness. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. I also got the, I also got the preemptive material. And to somewhat replicate what was in the flashback. But you know, I do like the preemptive material. Kind of gives you a chance to face enemies. You know, well, have enemies facing backwards. <laughs> I wonder what that was. <laughs> Aim's Guardian. Oh, well, I guess he's... Oh, I think I remember his enemy. I think he uses two rocket punches when he charges up like that. Ow. Can I steal anything? Nothing to steal. Alright. Uh, giant claws moving. Yeah. I know it's the red sub. Actually, if I remember... I remember reading that you can technically get your hands on the red sub by uh, failing the extremely easy mini game that's coming up pretty soon. I mean, you, you have to just pretty much be playing blindly for, you know, to lose that game. Uh, you, your cloud. Uh, how does he know who I am? <laughs> Unless maybe, I don't know, cloud and everyone's friends or wanted, have wanted posters or something. Can I steal from this guy? <laughs> Such a pain not being able to steal anything. Alright. You know what? Might as well use it. <laughs> I don't really try to go for hit, uh, yes. It's kind of hard to do that. Considering how fast the real spins. Beat rush. Somersault. Water kick. Meteo drive. Dolphin Blow, Meteor Strike, and Final Heaven. Pretty devastating blow. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm, I am kind of questioning about the name Meteo, Meteo Drive. I'm wondering if it's supposed to. Be, I wonder if it was a typo. It's supposed to be Meteor Drive. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like in this version here. I have. Uh, uh, you're not getting this huge materia. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I, as I was saying, the uh, the typo thing. I was kind of wondering if it's this, if it was a typo or not, because I, in this version, um, Barrett's limit break. His level three limit break is called uh, one of them is called 
Ungar Max, <laughs> which obviously is intent, obviously is a typo. It's supposed to be Anger Max. Well, of course, a lot of people just re refer to it as Ungar Max. It's kind of strange, but it's just how it is. I think they do fix it for the PS4 and PC release. I think. Yeah, but you know, sometimes I like having those intentional typos, though. It's kind of what makes the game kind of charming in some way. Okay, well, Cloud said 53. So you were after the huge materia. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm here, aren't I? Oh, yeah, I think I can steal something from these guys. If I remember. Come on. Stop getting hit. He's triple shotting me. Come on. Come on, I know I can steal something. I mean, I'm glad Barrett's taking all the damage, but... Still... <laughs> He's only human. Come on, steal something. Hand grenade. Ah, come on. I know I can steal something. I think it's the Shin the Shinra Alpha. Man, I think it may be better if I had mug. Oh, come on. Come on, Tifa, steal! Oh my god, you're killing me! And what? Uh, he'll bear it. Because he really needs it. Unfortunately, I don't have Cure 3 yet for Barret or Tifa. Yeah, okay, stole Shinra Alpha. Finally. Enough with the hand grenades. Just get out of here. Ooh, so close. Alright. I need to heal myself bad. Uh, I wish I still had some of my X potions, but I fortunately I used them all when I was doing the battle square. I guess that's a good tip for the battle square. Make sure you're stocked up on a lot of items, <laughs> because unfortunately, you, it's not like it's not like the items are, you know, it's, it's not like the items regenerate or anything after you do the each battle. <laughs> the huge materia. <laughs> yeah, look at the giant claw. It's stealing the materium. Eh, well, not as huge as I thought it was going to be. Damn, just missed it. They're going to take it on that submarine. Hmm. Ah, of course, battle. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, is it really worth getting the huge material now? Since I technically stopped Shinra twice already, and I thought they needed all the huge material to, for their plan to work. Yeah, because I remember their original plan was to get the huge material and store it onto a rocket to shoot it into the meteor to destroy it. All right. I wonder if this will level up Barrett. Yay! <laughs> I got level fifty for Barrett. All right. You know what? Before I leave, how about um, 
I got Shinra Alpha, right? Uh, Alpha. Uh, still three. Yeah, I lose. I lose my defense percentage, but my. Well, of course, I drop a little bit of defense, magic defense, but again, that's not useful. <laughs> but. Uh. Hmm. No, I still, I still want this for Cloud the Dragon Armlet. Yes, just a very subtle increase with Tifa. You know, I'm gonna go with Barret. At least we give him a bigger boost in defense. And since he has the Protect Vest, that should help him out a little bit more. It should, anyway. All right. Do we make it? I'm gonna take that as a no. They're storing it onto the sub. Huh. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's Reno again. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Help load. Cloud. We're gonna help transport the huge material, Reno. Looks like we barely made it. Either give it to us or else. <laughs> Which is it gonna be? Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. Oh, what's that? <laughs> My priority is the huge materia. Oh, I don't really like this boss. <laughs> Mainly because uh, this boss actually has a grapple ability which can take you out of the battle, per se. Like, yeah, the arm grab, god. Did he have to do it now? <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm gonna use Comet. Anything to help me out at this point. Carry armor, 24,000 weak against lightning. Come on, Comet. You know what, I'm also got Omni Slash, so I'll use that too. <laughs> Killing Barrett. <laughs> All right. First time using this out this game. Omni Slash. Yeah, all critical hits. <laughs> it's got to leave a dent, right? Okay. How about Barrett's catastrophe? I'm wondering if this will finish it off. <laughs> or not. Oh no, it's gonna get Tifa. Uh, how much health? Oh, oh great, I hate this, the Lapis Laser. Well, I guess good news is he can't grab two of us since he lost his left arm. It's killing Tifa. <laughs> Come on. Let her go. Alright, can I steal anything from this guy or not? Nothing to steal. Alright. Let's just finish it off. You know what? I'm gonna use Bolt 3. I hate this Lapis Laser. It's like overkill.
All right, try. Uh, no, I'm gonna try. Go with trying. The best lightning-based attack from my enemy skills. That really didn't do much. Ah, <laughs> oh, not again. I mean, that's the only thing this thing can do now, is just the Lapis Laser. Oh, I'm getting tired of these laser attacks. I just randomly chose a combination, I'm about to die here. Or Tifa. Well, Barrett's mostly gonna die first. I bet this should finish him off. Okay, so I missed a dolphin blow. Still get the final. Sh still get to use the final heaven though. All right. Well, at least this boss is out of the way. <laughs> Seriously, it was a pretty challenging boss first time doing uh, going up going up against this one, <laughs> especially with the arm grabbing. It was just annoying. I even got God's hand, <laughs> God's hand, kind of like God hand from Air Guides. Damn the submarine. <laughs> Alright, it took off pretty quickly. Damn, so they... It was just buying time. We have to go after it. Let's see. First of all, I need to heal Barry because he's gonna die. I really need to heal him. I probably should have bought more ethers. Ah, oh, I got six. Well, I don't think I need it right now. Actually, I got himself another, another weapon in God's hand. Wow, that's a good ink. Look at that. Attack percentage 255. Huh. Do I have anything here? <laughs> oh, man. I got Comet and MP Turbo. Uh, I don't know. I want to equip God's Hand. I mean, the crystal bangle is just a... I could go with the crystal bangle, maybe, but... Ah. Alright, I guess I'll just have to... I guess I'll have to unequip Comet and MP Turbo for right now. Because I really want to use God's Hand. I mean, I don't really see any other, uh, I don't really see another good armor, really. I don't want to, I really don't want to use wizard bracelet, at least not yet. I could just go down to a crystal bangle. I guess. But it seems like a big drop, though, to me, if I do that. Uh... Yeah, I guess I'm just stuck. I guess I'm stuck with this. I guess. Oh well. <laughs> Battle trumpet. I guess another weapon for Kate Sith. Uh, anything here? No. <laughs> Kind of question what these guys are doing. Oh, got the scimitar. Oh yeah, I think that was. I think that was actually one of the only one of two weapons in this entire game that actually does triple growth. Oh, I can't check it here, but I am pretty sure that's one of the one of two weapons that does triple growth and AP. Received key item: Leviathan scales. What does that do again? 
uh, items, key item, Leviathan scales. Scales with the power of water? Huh. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. Unless maybe that's something I need for Wu Tai? Maybe, actually. That could be a possibility. I, I need to check that later. Y you. Because I remember back in Wu Tai, some guy was talking about the Leviathan scales being a myth or something like that. I wonder if, I, if it's something there I can use. I'll have to check back there later. Oh, why did I choose Catastrophe? <laughs> Against one enemy? <laughs> You know, I have to admit, I kind of wish there was a way for you to kind of switch between a regular attack and then your limit break. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. There's really no way you can attack without having to waste a limit break. I mean, if only you could actually store limit breaks, that would be something. Actually, who knows, maybe that could be a possibility, you know, for the remake. Uh, you're not taking over this ship. <laughs> yeah, you and what army? These guys can't stop me. Alright. At least I'm building up a lot of gill. Good enough. I mean, when I was doing the gold chocobo... Doing stuff for the gold choco, but I ate up a lot of gill. <laughs> you want the sub? Just try and take it. Um, sir, maybe we shouldn't piss them off. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't piss them off, huh? Oh no, I'm trapped. Yeah, but this is nothing. Strange why everyone's attacking Barrett. Well, I mean, I know Barrett's covering, but still. Seems like everyone's trying to attack Barrett. Another Shinra beta. Come on, Cloud, follow me. Damn, man. What the? Hey, yo, remember, I was the leader first, man. <laughs> yo, we come a long ways since we got on that train. Lots of things changed. This and that. <laughs> what the? No, no, this is terrible. <laughs> we don't have much time left. I don't want to die. There's still so much more I've got to do. I've never even got to do my special victory dance in battle. <laughs> Alright, then make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir. Remember, your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. They're stealing Cloud's moves. I'm back, and now i got no regrets. Attack. Um, yeah, let's fight him. I gotta say, the odd change in battle music. <laughs> Using the Rufus theme again, huh? Let me show you how it's done. I guess you can kind of say this is like a boss battle, but I really don't think it really is, but... I've got to say, I'm really thrown off by the music here. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold on any longer. <laughs> okay, can everyone stop attacking Barrett? Holy hell, man. What has Barrett done? The special pose. <laughs> can I steal anything from the captain? A 
Shinra Alpha. Uh, they got me. <laughs> well, they had no chance. Oh, good. Now T was a level 50. <laughs> Someone, please. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. Stop your blubbering. How are you gonna move this without you? What, is cloud claustrophobic or what? See? Just fiddle with the controls and we'll get somewhere. <laughs> Just play with buttons until something does something. Okay. Hey, Cloud, why don't you try piloting it? They say you don't get motion sickness if you're driving. Oh, that's right, the motion sickness. Hey, you're right, I do feel a little better driving. No, no sweat, just leave everything to me. Alright, well. Well, uh, now what? Read the manual? No one reads manuals. Let's just take a seat. Everything seems set. No, I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out by just messing with controls to so just start the mission. The switch? Main screen, <laughs> main screen on. I'm sorry, just that line reminds me of uh, Zero Wing. Change to screen mode. Yeah, so we gotta stop that sub. Yeah, just trying to mess the moves here. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to get a feel for this. All right, triangle is the move. That's right. All right, so yeah, this is the mini game where you could potentially lose and get your hands on the red sub if you want. But honestly, what's the point? <laughs> I got 10 minutes. I got, I got plenty of time. I got 10 minutes to take down the one sub. You know, I'm not even paying attention to any of the radar equipment. I'm just roaming around here. Eventually, I'll find the sub somewhere. Okay, so squares to fire. Ow. Uh, see, where is that red sub? It's gotta be here somewhere. Just keep roaming. Okay, there's got to be somewhere. There it is. Get over here. Mission complete. Well, I mean, this is not... Nothing like a real submarine battle, but... Hey, it's something. Receive Shinra sub. Well, we, we just hijacked a sub, so yeah, I guess. Uh, phew, we did it. The huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue to search. All Shinra submarine units, do you read? All Shinra submarine units, do you read? Huh, must be from Shinra. Report number two. Is it us? Alright, I'll do it. 
Uh, this is Shinra number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is return to Junon deck. We will transport the huge materia from the airport. Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. That is all. Over and out. <laughs> Junon airport. We should make it if we hurry. Very about the huge material for now. We're climbing. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> oh, I wanted to be in underwater. <laughs> of course, now how to drive the sub. Uh. Okay, circle to get on, X to get off, or I guess move forward and submerge and flow. Uh, the player can get on and off. Players can get on and off in bay like areas. Like this one, huh? Alright. Uh, yeah, didn't it say. Yeah, didn't it say the airport? I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is different. I don't even know what these things are. Planes? Hmm. Getting a weird sense of crisis core all of a sudden. <laughs> oh no, the huge materia. Let's go after it. Where are they headed? Rocket Town, of course. Well, I mean, as it is the only rocket there. Whew. I hope everything goes all right until we get to Rocket Town. Then our mission is nearly complete. Not so fast. We still have one ma one major task. We still have to transport the stuff. The the stuff. <laughs> all right. Just wanted to see a little scene here, but yeah. <laughs> Next stop is Rocket Town. Well, actually, before that, I need to explore the sea. I need to go under the sea. <laughs> Not to make a Little Mermaid reference. Alright, get back in the sub. Gotta submerge. Whoa, snap. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the this here is Emerald Weapon, uh, one of the strongest bosses in the game. Uh, you know, yeah, I guess I will face him eventually, but not now. I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, there was the underwater reactor. Yeah, so just keep your distance from Emerald Weapon. I don't want to engage in battle. Also, considering I'm gonna be in the middle of a um, a time limit, I guess. You know, it's like I, I think I have like a twenty-minute time limit, and actually there is a material that actually, I believe there is actually a material like an underwater material that can get rid of the time limit completely. Uh, okay, oh, somewhere. I mean, Emer the Emerald Weapon is the only enemy here that you have to really deal with, but. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm kind of surprised, really, because I thought it would have been more enemies down here, sea-based creatures. Oh, there it is. Oh, Thrombun. <laughs> oh, go back down. <laughs> go back down. All right. So this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge material recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Phew, that's good to hear. Got the huge material, alright. Of course that means that's one more at Rocket Town. 
But, like I said before, doing that... Uh, there's a few places to go underwater. Of course, I'm trying to keep an eye out from the ammo weapon. Yeah. I think by far the strongest boss in this entire game has to be the Ruby weapon. Which, uh, he's located over at the... Over at the uh, desert prison. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> I remember going through, I had like a guide of bosses kind of telling me uh, who I'm facing and I don't know what guide I was using, it was like, I thought it was mostly accurate but it was kind of stupid because they told me that the boss there was actually a, a guard scorpion so I was kind of confused by that. <laughs> of course when I actually engaged the boss I was like, well this is no guard scorpion. <laughs> Let's see here. I guess I just keep going. Uh, yeah, this is different. Well, this is technically meant for later, but I guess I'll pick it up right now. That way I don't have to waste time going back here again. It seems like a key to somewhere. Seems really old. And now it's complete. Completed. Exact date of origin cannot be determined. Estimated to have been several thousand years old. Several thousand years? Ancients? <laughs> key to the ancients. <laughs> yeah, the key to the ancients. But that's not going to be of use until later. Okay, so where I need to go is over here. Yeah, so where I'm going is trying to go to the waterfall area. If only the sub could go faster, that'd be nice. Alright, making progress. <laughs> You know, I do like the music though, it's kind of soothing in, in a weird way. <laughs> Alright, waterfall area. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of question why didn't I just go here with a gold chocobo, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I think there's a, I think there a cutscene if I switch out to Vincent should play. Let's see. Sephiroth. That voice, it can't be. Lucrezia? Vincent. Lucrezia. <laughs> and here we get another flashback. Seems kind of random, but... I don't know, at least give some more backstory to Vincent. Actually, thinking about it, he's the only character we know least about. <laughs> all, we, all he ever told us is just he was just a member of the Turks when he was, well, years ago, I guess. And of course, he obviously had feelings for Lucrezia Crescent. Actually, I remember in Air Guides, you can actually play as Turk Vincent. <laughs> if she is happy, then I don't mind. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, um... Oh. I'm against it. Uh, she and I are both scientists. Sorry, the Texas test. Ah, the Texas is growing, going so fast for me to read. <laughs> After that, a child was born to Lucrezia. That child's name is Sephiroth. Yeah, so I guess this is technically Sephiroth's birth mother.
Tuff. Vincent's been shot. And of course he's been experimented on. This body is the punishment that has been given to me. I was unable to stop Professor Gas and Hojo and Lucrezia. I was unable to stop them. All I was able to do is watch. That is my punishment. Seems like he's just kind of... I, I guess he's just tormented. <laughs> Just wants to be forgiven for all the sins he had committed. <laughs> or I guess he doesn't feel that he should be forgiven. Uh, Lucrezia, your life. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. But the Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth. My dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him, even once. Not even once. He can't call me his mother. That is... that is my sin. Stay back. Stay back. Vincent, won't you please tell me... What? If Sephiroth is still alive. I've heard that he died five years ago, but I see him in my dreams so often and I know that physically like myself he can't die so easily please Vincent tell me well he doesn't want Cloud to answer that Lucrezia Sephiroth is dead I think the reason why he said he lied to her like that because I guess he didn't want to tell her the truth that Sephiroth was the cause of this whole the whole meteor disaster and that he's trying to destroy the world. I mean, that would be a kind of a horrible thing to hear about your own son. <laughs> yeah, but at least that was some interesting flashback. At least shed some light a little bit of Vincent's past Vincent's character well of course if you want to you know even more then I guess you could play the game Dirge of Cerberus it kind of reflects a little bit about Vincent's past well even though the game takes place uh three years after this game but you know I would admit Dirge of Cerberus wasn't too bad of a game it's not really a not really much of an RPG but it's not that bad as a third person shooter But, you know, I kind of find it just odd. I mean, why starring... Why having the game starring Vincent to begin with? Uh... Oh, yeah. There's actually one more place I need to go. Of course, though, I probably should, uh... I kind of want to switch my character. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just kind of tracing the path in my head. I think it should be somewhere here. Oh, of course, the Emerald Weapon has to be blocking it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what I'm trying to go to is the sunken ship, the Galenka, I think that's what it's called. Uh, granted, I think I think the Galenka has the most, uh, I guess you can say the most difficult set of monsters, or at least one of the most difficult set of monsters to deal with. And I, I guess also it's not like this is the place to go to if you want to actually do a lot of morphing, you know, or I mean source farming. All right. Of 
Wait, what just happened? <laughs> oh, I guess I must have hit up by accident, huh? Uh, well, the hallway. This is the Shinra's Galenka type airplane. I wonder why it went down here. Good question. All right, do some exploring. What is this place? Must be some kind of research research establishment uh, because there's Mako generator. There's actually a couple of things I can get. Let's see. Escort guard. What was escort guard? Okay. Man's and it is a, for men only. Man's armlets nullifies lightning, earth, water, and poison. Hmm. I don't know. It actually does seem a little bit better than the dragon armlet, so. Yeah, I'll go with it. And then maybe I can give my. Actually, the dragon one seems worse. Huh. Okay, never mind. Okay, actually, I sh probably should I equip Ribbon on me, but... Ooh, I don't want to deal with this enemy. Come on, I'm trying to run out of here. Jesus. Can't I just escape, please? Yeah, unfortunately, these enemies are kind of difficult to deal with. Maybe if I was like an, another 10, 15 more levels, I might be able to do it. I don't even think I can even use sense. Uh... Not dealing with this one either. They don't even have real names, they're just all unknown. Jesus. <laughs> if I didn't have the MP and HP plus, my god. We'll be getting through this game. Alright, yeah, this is a lot. Okay. Well, I don't have any space. That's good. I guess I had to get rid of the preemptive, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks, because I wanted to have it. Oh yeah, this is right. I got the... I still have the chocobo lure. I need to give that back to Vincent. Uh, Actually, this gives me dexterity anyway. So, okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, so I, I got... Double cut as we do two attacks at once. Of course, I'd be better if I could get to four times cut. No, I'm not dealing with that guy. I'm not dealing with any of the unknowns. I mean, I seriously doubt it's gonna really work. Oh, okay, I guess it did work. <laughs> hmm. Kinda average, but... Yeah, but like I said though, if we wanna... If we wanna deal with some farming, source farming, yeah, these are the enemies you wanna work with. Make a look, sir. It'd be great if I keep if I stop getting hit in battles. <laughs> oh not dealing with that. Bolt two. Ah, that's right. I can't get hit. Creepy touch. Put her in a sadness. I 
Alright, fine. See if it's possible for me to defeat this thing. As long as it doesn't do any poison fang attacks. Oh, man. This thing seems to have very fast dexterity or de or has counterattacks. Bolt two again. Okay, unknowns. Okay, skill powers used up. That's good. Oh, I can't still do slap attacks. Fifty-four. Oh boy. Do I have enough, uh. I guess I got a couple of hypers. Alright. Good enough. Hey, at least I got double cut. That's all I really wanted. Heaven's Cloud. Well. Wow. I think that was a sword for Cloud. Not to make any puns or anything out in his name, but... Uh, that's right, the Crystal Sword was technically... I forgot I had the Crystal Sword here. <laughs> I don't know why I never used it. Heaven's Cloud. 93. Hmm. Well, I don't really have anything matched up anyway. Yeah, I guess I'll go with it. Heaven's Cloud. Well, I guess if that's the case, maybe I can still equip uh, preemptive on this. Yeah, why not? A hey. Turks again? Actually, how in the world did they get down here? They it's not like they took a sub, or did they? Uh, we just seem to keep running into each other lately. There were weapons and material developed solely to destroy Sephiroth, but it was attacked by a weapon and sunk to the bottom of the sea. I can't give you what's here. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take out Sephiroth. I guess this is our last meeting. I won't let you get in our way. Random boss battle. I mean, technically, because you don't have to actually go into the Galinka to begin with, so it's all just boss battle. Neo Turk Light. Oh, I hate this. Oh, shoot, not a good. I should have saved. Wake up, Cloud. Okay. You got more health. God, I almost got myself killed. <laughs> uh. Okay, he'll bear it. He's gonna die. Actually, no, give him regen. Okay, uh, I stole something for Reno. How about Rude? Oh, okay. It's good to know.
Man. Really overpowered. Uh, not again. No, not Neo Torque Light. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, stop hurrying, Cloud. Bear it. Oh, boy. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Great, my the dangerous weapon here is Cloud. <laughs> Holy hell, come on. He just killed himself. Wow. <sighs> Damn it, Reno. <laughs> Stop hitting us with the Turk light. God. Cure. Cure her. Cure her. Man, I'm about to go down by my own hand. This is insane. Gotta be kidding me. It's like he knows I want to attack with Cloud. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Wake up, Cloud. <laughs> Why couldn't I equip Ribbon? <laughs> God, I still wish I had life too. Take care of Reno. <laughs> Roots out of the battle. Guess it's time for lunch. <laughs> These guys are pretty tough. Jesus, I almost lost this battle because of myself. So Shimmer's new secret weapon was on this airship. Huh. Alright, so I got a couple of items here. Uh, tough ring. Vitality and spirit plus 50. Well, let's see. I, I guess I can give this one to Vitality and Spirit plus 50. I guess I can give this one to Tifa. Yeah, why not? I mean, a pretty good increase, I can tell you that. Right, what was the other thing I got? The. The Zydric. Decreases all elemental attacks by half. Gives me a good boost in my defense, although I don't have anything then for the... Yeah, not really good for this one. Maybe for my other one of the other characters, I'll switch it to them. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, I'm going to give Tifa the uh, Choco Feather, and then I'll give Barret the the Tough Ring, since he had rated the the vest anyway. Yeah, so I got pretty much one of the best, one of the best equipment, so. Yeah, so Barret's Vitality and Spirit are pretty high. Alright. 
I just got out of the boss battle. Come on. Give me a break here. And Tifa's about to go down. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? Probably time to use Ultima. Evil poison. <laughs> Another evil poison. All right, I got restore mastered. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> this must be the cargo room. Alright, Mega Elixir. Oh. No, don't have time to deal with them. Abnormal breath. See here, Spirit Lance. Huh. This is terrible. All oh, it's messed. It's all messed up. Oh, look at this, Hades. Actually, I think it's a pretty good summon for dealing with the Ruby weapon. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, so I forgot. Uh, I never got Sid's final limit break yet. Okay, well, until now. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. Ow. Everyone's gonna die at this point. Just hang in there a little bit longer, guys. Outsider. Ah! Come on. Go, get out of this battle. What was Outsider again? Long range weapon. Alright, gotta get back. Can't deal with these battles. Oh, alright. Okay, well, that was something, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah, I kind of, I kind of completely forgot that I, for, uh, uh, Sid's Limit Break, um, 
yeah, I, that's right. I only got into level three. I couldn't get the last one because I had to wait until disc two. And then thinking about it, I can't even get my hands on Vincent until disc three. <laughs> so yeah, I got uh, quite a bit to work for. Alright, I uh, guess... Hmm. Okay, well I guess first thing first... No, what am I doing? First things first, get my chocobo back into the ship. <laughs> Alright, so what I need to do is heal myself for one thing, but... Well, since we're going to Rocket Town, I think it'd be pretty appropriate to have Sid on my team. Let's see, restore. All right. PHS. All right, I uh, think I'm almost ready. Actually, I think I just remembered. <laughs> I think I just remembered something about the... Um... Yeah, I think I just remembered that there is a weapon I need to get uh, for Yuffie, the, uh, her best one. All right, <laughs> fortunately it was back at the, um, the sunken ship. Hold on. All right, <laughs> found the conformer. Well, of course it was hidden by the scenery. I couldn't see past that. All right, well, anyway, at least I got it for... Uh, so at least that's uh, uh, Yuffie's best weapon. Okay, how do I keep messing up and keep going in and out? It's like very sensitive all of a sudden. All right, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, I got, got Yuffie's best weapon, although I'm not going to use it yet until I get to... I'm probably going to be using everyone's best weapon when I get to disc 3. You know, like, kind of getting to the battle like against Sephiroth. Alright, but... Yeah, this time, going back out and actually going to Rocket Town. I just want to make sure everyone's ready. All right, so Rocket Town. Well, actually. Actually, first, I'm going to take a quick trip down to Wutai to see if anything changes. I got my hands on the Leviathan scales. So something should be different. Yeah, either way, I could at least get some more items. I need more high potions and ethers. All right. Let me quickly get some items here. Uh, 
Need for more high potions. Actually, probably just a couple more hypers. And, uh... Yeah, a couple more ethers. All right. So since I have the Leviathan scales, I should be able to... Well, I'm hoping I can probably get through those fire-based areas. I'm hoping. The scale of the sea god shines. The scale of the sea god shines again. Steel as well, materia? Huh. Steel simultaneously when paired materia is used. Huh. I mean, okay. Well, I guess I can give it a shot. How about if I combine it? I don't know if it's going to do anything, but how about if I combine that with uh, with my double cut? I mean, it might work. I don't know. It, it might work. <laughs> oh, but wait, I don't have it even paired. Oh. Uh, actually, I guess I could pair it up with the... Yeah, I guess I could try it, pair it up with my enemy skills, see if it, that will work too. Of course, I guess that would be more of a... I guess that would be more something I could probably use for... I guess that would be something more I could use for Tifa, maybe, since I have her have the steel materia. All right, well, at least I got a new material. <laughs> All right. We are finally going to Rocket Town. Well, I want to get closer, huh? Uh... Why did I have Kate Sith here again? Huh. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll just keep it. Why not? I'll go with it for right now. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of Shinra people here messing with the rocket. Is my rocket alright? <laughs> They shouldn't be serious about launching that piece of crap rocket, but why now? <laughs> it's a good question. Why are they doing that? Hmm. A spectacle. <laughs> those, <laughs> those terrorists are here. Well, not good. So much for the element of surprise. Ah, oh, great. Everyone's put to sleep. Right. <laughs> yeah, I still need to try that steel as well material to see if it actually works. I don't know. Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack. Uh, 
Uh, morph? Maybe it will work, I don't know. Enemy skill. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna, ah. Okay, I thought I gotta get Cloud. <laughs> Sorry. I guess not. Grenade. Uh, uh, this, I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't think it really works. Yeah, I guess it doesn't work. I need to. I think I might have to use an actual magic based material for this. I think. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Uh, nowhere. I think you guys can stop me. Let's see. What have I been using in a while? Well, let's try magic breath. Yeah, yeah, pretty good amount of damage. God damn it! What the hell do you think they're gonna do to my rocket? I'm out of here, Cloud. I'm gonna kick those Evan Shinra right out of my rocket. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, let me. Yeah, I don't think the steel as well is working too well with with the enemy skill. I think it needs to be an actual. Uh, I think it needs to be an actual ability or something. I don't know. Well, I could try. I guess I could try moving that out of the way. Put enemy skill here and then double cut here. I could try that. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but give it a shot. Hey, it's rude again. <laughs> you again? Yeah, we just met like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> We will eliminate everyone who gets in the sh gets in Shinra's way. <laughs> yeah, so we're going against Rude this time, just Rude, and actually he's weaker here than when he was back in the Galinka. So I I think technically I was supposed to come here first and then the Galinka I think, but it didn't really matter. I mean technically going to the Galinka is an optional place anyway, so it didn't really matter. Yeah, I just want to send some. Let's see. <laughs> it only has nine thousand. Yeah. Ugh. I guess Rude didn't have time to recover from the last battle. <laughs> Oh, they got us. <laughs> you, why are you here? Rude of the Turk should have been here. Too bad, those guys are, are over there. Oh man, Turks being done like that, but I won't let you through. <laughs> Seems kind of pointless if the Turks couldn't take care of me. What makes you think he can? <laughs> Now 
Didn't even have a chance. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you come back. Uh, listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Oh, man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Shut. Just shut the hell up. <laughs> How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But... We plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Cher was doing it. Oh great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead, go tell everyone. Alright, Captain, good luck. Actually, I should probably bring up something, too. Um, I'm kind of getting to a point where I need to get the huge materia. Hold on. Just trying to find it real quick. Um, just trying to find it. All right, I think I might have it. All right, uh, hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the materia. We're gonna borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that materia is precious. I also understand what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans who use to only roam around the ground are able to fly now. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just makes uh, just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something earlier. But Sid... Shut the hell up, I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened? Oh, it's Palmer. Hey, hey. Palmer, what the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. <laughs> Goddamn, Shara. Why did she pick the day to get fast? Damn, it won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey. Almost liftoff. What the? No countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, hey. Blast off. Well, just like that, we're going straight into space, okay. We don't even have spacesuits or nothing. Actually, I think I'm more impressed that a, a, a rocket that's been out of commission for quite some time is still able to launch. Especially since it's tilted, it's not even standing up straight. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Seriously though, that close to the town, it should be kind of burning everything around it in a mile, you know, like a two mile radius or something. I finally made it out of space. <laughs> Outer space. I guess. Sid got his dream. <laughs> Let's see, how's the course set? 
Yep, it's headed for collision with Meteor. What shall we do? What shall we do? I'm a toy, so I don't care, but for all of you, it's a different story. <laughs> That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to, to change the course. This is the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young, and you give up that easily? <laughs> I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. Just watch. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. I decipher the lock code on the escape pod. We will bail right before we crash into Meteor. Uh, by the way, what are you going to do with the huge materia? Hmm. If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So why don't you all do whatever you think is right? <laughs> well, I have to get the huge material anyway, so yeah. I finally found the huge materia. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the password from the, this control panel. Uh, there was a control panel. Try to operate it. Sure. Enter passcode. Well, let's say for all intents and purposes that you didn't know the. Yeah, actually, how would you even know? It's just really plain guessing, thinking about it. If you didn't even know. So let's just say, oops, I put in the wrong code. Hey, Cloud, you know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, uh, push one of those buttons. One of the, okay, the, one of the face buttons. If you punch in the right code, it will unlock and you can get the huge materia. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know, just try punching the code randomly. He doesn't even know. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I just want to make sure that I, I do have the right code or something, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure I got the right code. All right, let's just say you got it wrong, so. <laughs> Passcode input error. Unauthorized user identify protection system will activate in three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If you don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the material back. You got three minutes. Oh no, what? is the code I heard there's a passcode only I heard there's a passcode only that Shinra know I'm sorry kind of had to bring up the internet here uh, we probably have to enter what enter that to try and enter some codes while I try and remember that passcode all right uh, Oh no, it, it's wrong again. Hmm. I can't remember. Give me some more time. The second digit wasn't a triangle. I'm sure of it. <laughs> well, that's good to know, I guess. I just want to see if he actually gives me the code or not. Did you use the triangle? I'm pretty sure you didn't. Two minutes. The third digit was an X, I think. <laughs> he thinks. He's not even sure. Hmm, I can't remember. Give me some more time. Uh, 
I think the first digit wasn't square. I think there was a key that you had to push twice. <laughs> so I guess all these clues you're supposed to gather, but it's kind of hard to do that in a three minute period. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... I think the first digit wasn't a square. <laughs> Give me some more time. All right. Um, I believe the real password was circle square X X. Password uh, passcode confirmed. Identified as an authorized user. Unlocked. All right, Cloud, it's unlocked. Yep, my great advice saved the day. Great advice, you're just telling me to push random buttons and just get lucky with it. Receive the huge materia. All right, let me just close this down. Alright, time to get out of here. Oh, snap. Yeah, damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid. How did World of Sig get hit? <laughs> I mean, I thought Cloud would have one would have been the one to get hit first. <laughs> uh, what shall we do? It won't budge. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't, the rocket's gonna crash the meteor. I can't go without my friends. <laughs> you, yeah. No time to worry about other people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really effing stupid. <laughs> tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shira, you were right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Uh, pretty good timing. Huh? Shira? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. <laughs> you stupid... Yeah, okay. Of course, he finds the best time to curse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the escape pod is this way. Please hurry. <laughs> hurry, I'm going to detach the escape pod. <laughs> Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've been checking it checking it till now. <laughs> then I'm relieved. Thanks. Hey, it's pretty lucky there was a escape pod on the rocket. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just crashing straight into Meteor, or killing ourselves. So this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shinra number 26. Right, there goes the rocket. <laughs> I 
Of course, what does that really mean exactly? I mean, since there were no huge material on the rocket, is it even going to work? Ooh, blinding light. Whoa. Well, did it work or not? <laughs> well, it looks like things went from bad to worse. Yeah, now it looks like we just created an electric field around the meteor now. <laughs> Surrounded by all the metal debris from the rocket. Yeah, this is not good. Everyone's devastated. Rufus and the other's plan was a failure. What a bust, but I kind of hoped it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can, but there ain't no other way. Wonder if we're, we've been wrong. We've been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry. Think. Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You mo you're up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been up here looking at the planet, I've been thinking even when we we're, we were floating in the ocean in that skate pod, I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean, how wide and big, no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right, but I came up with a difference, something different. I always thought this planet was so huge, but looking at it from space, I realize it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. Kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. <laughs> Yo, Sid, you even got to me. <laughs> Do now what? We're gonna... Uh, how are we gonna protect the planet from Meteor? Uh... Any ideas? I'm still thinking about that. Poof. Huh? Did you hear something? The planet scream or meteor? Is it th this planet? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet scream? Did you forget? Mugenhagen told us. Mugenhagen. 
let's go see grandfather to, uh, to Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to help uh, he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. Sure, why not? Like I got nothing to lose at this point. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess material-wise, I can just unequip the. You know, I I'll, I'll let them have the preemptive. I don't think I really need it for right now. Or actually, no. What I don't really need is the uh, the steel as well. <laughs> Didn't really work too well for me. At least not what I have. Oh, now he's level 10. <laughs> okay, yeah, so Cosmo Canyon, the next stop. Well, next stop, and then I'll probably save the game. Oh, wait, where's my, my gold chocobo? Can't leave my buddy behind. Uh, okay. Uh, right, I can't park here. <laughs> well, I'll just stop right here. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'll just call it for right now. Hey, got it. Hey, this got a lot done, at least. All right, yeah, so accomplished a lot. Uh, got all the huge materia, got ourselves a new sub, got some new weapons out of that, and of course we got to go into outer space. All right, so I think we're actually kind of, I'd like to say probably close to about 75, maybe 80% done with this game so far. So really not too much far off. All right, well, this is Dolphin Hunter XYZ, and until next time,